Hello YouTube, this is Artifacts Productions, and this video is going to be a quick viewer response video. I've gotten some questions regarding the installation of the Windows Movie Maker Enhancement Pack. Essentially what this package does is install hundreds of new effects and transitions to Windows Movie Maker. You can find more details about this package in the description box below this video. Now, I don't know exactly why some people have found this package hard to install because I made it quite simple. First, I will show you how to use the installer. Go to my website at artifactsproductions.blogspot.com and find the article in the side menu under the year 2010 called Windows Movie Maker 2.x Enhancement Pack. If you're having problems finding it, you can always search it. You will need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and choose a download link. Windows XP users will choose the green one and Windows Vista slash Windows 7 users will choose the blue one. Once you have chosen your download link, you will be brought to a page to download the package. Click download, and once it has finished installing, run the program. If you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7, you may encounter UAC dialogs like this one. Just press OK. When the setup program appears, all you have to do is follow the steps of the wizard. It should install everything for you automatically. If you end up having problems with the installer, don't worry, there is an alternative method. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to install the enhancement pack manually using the source zip file provided on my website. Now this method of installation is aimed for those of you who are having problems using the installers once again, you'll have to download the file from my website. After you've downloaded the zip file, extract all the contents of the zip file. Select all the contents that you have extracted, right click and press copy. The content will have to be moved into the Windows Movie Maker directory on your local hard drive. For most people, this is the C drive. Go to my computer and then go to your local hard drive. Now go to the program files folder. If you're using a 64-bit version of Windows, you'll have to go to a folder called Program Files x86. You will need to find a folder that says Movie Maker. Open the folder, then right click and paste all the files you selected earlier. You may be asked for permission to overwrite the existing files. That's normal, especially if you have Windows Vista or Windows 7. Once you have all the files successfully copied over, you're done. When you open up Windows Movie Maker, you should find that all the effects and transitions have been successfully installed. So you see, it's not that hard. I hope this video was helpful for anyone who's uh, having any problems installing the Windows Movie Maker Enhancement Pack. And once again, this is Artifacts Productions. Thanks for watching. You should now have a Mac-like dock. The next step is getting a Mac-like menu bar for the top of your desktop. The program I'm going to be using is called the iBar. Artifacts tutorial on auto-tuning. Here's what you're going to need to get started. You're going to need Audacity 